The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured. And so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozarski. I'm an observer. Lozarski, you there? Come in, Lozarski. Lozarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy har. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. <laughs> there you go. Looking better already. Yeah, wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? <laughs> it's funny. Thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But... Really is. Come on, Adam, don't start. 
I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's... can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kabinsky. That's new. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. He just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, Tenant? Huh? Uh, what? No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant? Um, sort of. Name. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Oh. Apartment 7. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Back with him forwards. Thanks. Hmm. Door open.
Attention citizens, curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 656210. Setting up a crime scene. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Six million volts wasn't enough. start somewhere. 
victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. ID check failed. Time of death about an hour ago before he called me. substance 45F that are known as feed. You've never touched this but A hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. You never cared about this stuff. Printed on real paper. Oh, a little archaic for you, Adam. Collateral damage or evidence disposal?
I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. The killer was in a frenzy. It must have come from somewhere else. to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't.
KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's, like, super important to me or anything. I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here, alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! Hi! This is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you! KPD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh-uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? 
I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Synchrosine refilled.
to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. the door open. Synchrosine refilled.
Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war to Kuan alive. Sent for one of you to get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, tin man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the damp ones. The implants. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. Take it, Rudy, is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I mm, need to track manually. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Assistance. Unstable. I looked what I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Name. Janus. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
injected. Strain level decreased.
real deal? Why leave it here? Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. No compass? I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Oh, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you... Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter. Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena Novak it is.
Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? Where can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. 
You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean? Oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants. But I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. You're not going to get preachy on me, are you now? I apologize, officer. That certainly wasn't my intent. How do you make a living, anyway? Not many jobs left that don't require some basic augmentation. We're a close-knit community, officer. We help each other out. As one should. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski.
Lazarski. KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no. There's no one here. Uh, did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Paulina? 34. <laughs> Nine, you silly. So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Pieta. Your little sister? No. She's my friend, silly. From school. <laughs> no! She's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, oh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. Are you upset? Will you be all right? I'm, I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um... I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is happening. I, I feel weird. Paulina. Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. 1074.
Synchrosine, refilled. 